Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create an alert dialog in Android application. Let's take a look at what we want to accomplish today. So here's the simple application um, and we can click on the buttons and it will pop up the uh, alert dialog for us. And here's just the uh, alert dialog with only one button. And when we click OK, uh, here's the toes at the bottom that show us which buttons that we click. Here's the one with three buttons, yes, and um, the toast saying that we click yes. Here's the list dialog. We can pick any of the color, and they will tell us which one that we pick. <coughs> so uh, let's dive in. Open Eclipse. Create a new Android project. Let's name it Alert Dialogs. Choose a target to be 2.2. .2. We type the name of it and the package name is my name alert dialogs. Finished. So let's create the layout first. Let's go to um, resource main, I mean resource layout main. And so uh, the layout is very simple. We want to get rid of the uh, the text over here and we want to have buttons. so graphical layout that's the text so get rid of the, this text view and when you come back here let's zoom out a little bit actually let's zoom in a little bit uh, see that the text is now gone um, what we want to we add we want to add buttons in it we want to add five of them so we add three Four and one more, five. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to uh, we want them to expand the whole width of the layout. So here's how you expand it: toggle deal width. And we do the same for all of them. And let's uh, separate the top a little bit. So let's separate by. Uh, 50 dip. So let's look good. Let's come back to the uh, code and uh, change. <coughs> let's change the, the name for the buttons. So instead of saying buttons for all of them, let's use a variable a string button one. And let's uh, make this two, three, four, five. And the way that you use the the strings variable is uh, you will go into resource folder values folder strings dot xml, and you just add the string name in here. So string name. Remember we call it um, button one, two, three, four. So we do seven here. Button one, and we can type one button dialog. Let's do the same for all of them. So uh, they have the same format, pretty much. So let's do this. So we have button two, three, four. And button number two, let's do it. Is two button dialog, three or three button dialog, which will show uh, a dialog with three buttons. Number four will show a list dialog, and number five is radio button dialog. And once you save this, when you go back here, you see that there's no error uh, over here. And when you go to graphical layout, voila, we have the button over here. The name change with the variable that we put in here. So, and, yep, and then the ID for them would just be a button one, two, three, four. Uh, that's fine. So the layout is good. Let's go back to the, our main activity, uh, source, our package and then the alert dialogs activities. 
and in here let's create some uh, pr private variable for our buttons so buttons my button one let's create uh, another four terms so we have button two three four five and let's import uh, the buttons from Android widget save so as always uh, we will call the super create um, in our on create method and then after that we will inflate the main layout by uh, calling set content view and after that we will uh, associate our buttons with the one in the layout so we do that by five view by ID resource dot ID dot button one. Okay. Remember that in the main layout that we have the we have the ID for each button. But as of now, it just it's just the uh, the, the the graphical layout. We need to add. We we need to hook this button. With the actual button object um, in in Android, so that when we click or when the user uh, click on any of this button, we can handle um, the action. So, and that's how we do it. Let's do it for all of them. Button two, buttons find you my ID, and let's just copy. Okay, now we have uh, button two is three, four, five, and it is three, four, five. Okay, once you've done this, then now um, our buttons will be referenced to this graphical uh, button. And the next thing we need to do, we need to handle the click event, so we need to implement on click listener let's import that from the android view and add unimplemented method so after that we can set on click listener to be this what it means is when the user click the buttons the button will notify this class and let this class handle that click. So let's do that for all of them. Three, four, five. And this on click method will handle the click action on any of these buttons. So uh what we need to do is the let's create a method to create and show uh, an alert dialog. So here's uh, the node that I have. Uh, this is basically um, from um, Google documentation. So what they say is, in in order to create alert dialog, you need to create a builder. Alert dialog builder. After you create this, then you can add uh, all the uh, necessary properties that you want for your uh, alert dialog. For example, title, message, buttons. Uh, you can create a list, or uh, you can even create um, add an icon to it. And then, after you've done all of this, you will call the create method from the builder to build the alert dialog for you. So um, let's follow that and we will create a sub method to do that for us. So private void show one button dialog. Now uh, first of all let's create the alert dialog builder. So it's just the type subject is alert dialog builder. And let's name it dialog builder. And the uh, constructor 
will take into uh, the parameter the context, which is this, which is this class. So, and uh, we can add the title to it. So, set title. Greeting. We can set. Uh, we can set message to it. So, welcome to my channel. And um, we can add a button to it. Now, why it is positive button? Because uh, there's only they they only let you create um, the type of buttons that they allow. So they have positive, negative, and neutral. Um, so in this case, um, the button is is positive because basically it's or it, it can be neutral because it doesn't do anything. And uh, well, let's just name it OK. That's the text will show on the button. Here's a listener of it. Um, and, and we have to use uh, this interface, dialog interface, on click listener. Click on it, it will create an, an anonymous uh, class for us. So this is the uh, the class that will handle the the on click uh, or, or will handle the click event on the buttons uh, inside the dialog. So what we want to do is we just want to uh, create a toast. So max text. Um, um, the 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 method max text will get into uh, we take in the uh, parameter context, the text, which is the charge sequence of strings, and then the duration. And in this case, in order to get a context, we do get application context. That will give us the context of this application. And then uh, this term is uh, the, the defined term of the toast. Um, Object or toast class is short, so um, it's, it's like one or two seconds, I think. And after we've done everything, so let's pack it up and um, create the dialog. So, alert dialog will be let's name it alert dialog, and we will call the method create from the builder. So, this will create the dialog first. And let's show it. Dot show. Okay, let's test it out. Now we want in here in the, in our on click method we want um, button number one to handle that. So we call the switch. Let's change this name to something easy to understand. So view dot get ID so we get ID of um, the click so we know which button get click not ID if it if, if it is button number one then we will show one button dialog and then break okay let's run it run as Android application 